Okay, what is going on, me? It's your boy Rev here, and today uh, we are doing another tier list. And this is like what the third tier list I've done. Uh, I was originally gonna save this until after season one was done, but I figured since um, it's just a perfect timing right now, since we're just waiting for episode 14, I just you know rank every single character by just you know their character. But uh, the way that I'm doing this, there's three rules that I'm implementing. One is just how much I like the character themselves and like where their universe is from. Two, <clears throat> although the character mostly just applies to just how much I really like their character, it's also based on beatbox and like their performances as well and how the performances ties in with their character and how original they can be. And three, I was just kidding. Those are the only two rules. I was just trying to find something else to say, but it's okay. But uh, yeah. Uh, how much I like their performances and how well they actually display their characters into this sort of like cartoon beatbox series, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I guess we'll just start off chronologically and um, go with Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mickey, he's pretty good. Even though he's only had one performance, I feel like, oh, I mean, I was going to place him there anyway. Yeah, he's here. Um, I feel like he didn't do a bad job. I feel like... Um, with his performance and his presence and how he was mocking Spongebob of, you know, just being a sponge and uh, living in a pineapple, you know, it's just, it's just a, a little stuff. It's, it's simple, but it's nice. He has a little roast and it's nice. All right. And uh, yeah, Spongebob, I know a lot of people are going to be upset at me for this, but um, I'm going to put him at A tier. He's not S tier. I know lots of people were saying, like, oh, you definitely have to put him in S tier or else we're going to get pissed off. We're going to get mad. No, <clears throat> he's only A tier because even his um, his first performance was okay, but his second performance was really great. But I still feel like um, he served his performance or he served his presence in the, in the series well. And, uh, you know, he lost... He lost fairly in episode nine. I can agree to that. And, it's, and I love SpongeBob. I love the series so much. And uh, yeah, and, and that's just it. I feel like with his character and his presence, the jokes and the, and the jokes and the little roast that he have was nice. It was nice, but uh, I I, didn't, I don't think it was enough for S tier. Okay, Pikachu is F tier. Um, sorry. Uh, one reason is because he just says uh, just Pikachu. And uh, I really don't like Pokemon. I really ha I didn't get into Pokemon. And um, it, I don't know what he's trying to say. I don't know what his roast is. It's just, it's one of my least favorite performances ever. And yeah, even though uh, Groot just says, I am Groot, I'm probably going to have to put him in C tier. I mean, his second performance was not bad, but his first performance could have been a little bit better. Um, I love Marvel, so uh, seeing Groot in this series was not like a new change for me i didn't know how um he was gonna do if he proceeded to the next round same with pikachu because all he could say is just pikachu but um he had nice visuals in his second performance but uh his first performance like i said could have been better but uh uh the character as a whole like i said i really didn't think it should be like belong in the in the series <clears throat> okay so who do we have next we have next we have joker or no i guess we i guess we have pennywise because Pennywise went first in episode 3. Um, I'm going to put Pennywise in S tier. Um, Pennywise has three performances, which is the most that any character has ha had in this in this, um, in this this series as of right now. Because um, three more characters have three performances. But he's one of the few characters that uh, went to the semifinals. And... Uh, or I guess just the, I guess this is the semifinals, the one before this round two, they were the quarterfinals, but verbally I said it was the semifinals, but I think that this is the semifinals, because you know there's only four, pe uh, four people, and only two matches, but um, <clears throat> yeah, his first performance, I didn't really like as much, it was kind of meh, then his second performance was phenomenal, and then his third performance was okay, so um, for having three visually great per good performances and also being scarier than the actual interpretation of the, his 2017 to 2019 counterpart was um, a big step up. I feel like in this version with more cartoony-ish fe you know, like fear and feelings and like shape-shifting abilities, he could 
you know, bring and bring a lot to the table, especially with the the, the threats and the the jokes that he's made towards all of his all of his opponents. So, yeah, yeah, it was great. <clears throat> Joker, I'm gonna put him at. Uh, I'm gonna put him at B tier. I, I like him a little bit better than uh, Mickey and Groot. So I feel uh, his his consistency and his flow was nice, and uh, I really like Joker from um, the Dark Knight. And one of my favorite Jokers besides uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker in 2018 or 2019. Dang, was that a little too like a year and a half ago? Anyway, yeah, Heath Ledger's Joker was great. I feel like Verbal Ace does a really good impression of him. His uh, his performance and his um, appearance in the series was great. I really like it. And but uh, it wasn't enough to meet the requirements for for a like SpongeBob because unlike SpongeBob, Joker only has one round. And uh, yeah, I wish I were going to see more of him, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to wait until the losers round. Episode four. No, I guess we could just start off with uh, you know, what the hell? Where's Cyborg? Where's Cyborg and Terminator? I guess <clears throat> I thought Cyborg and Terminator were in here, but I guess not. But uh, I guess I'd have to put Cyborg at B tier and uh, Terminator at I guess B tier as well. I guess the Cyborg and Terminator are both B tier in my opinion. Um. Patrick is definitely S tier. He has three great performances. Like I said, I love SpongeBob. So for him to progress this far into the series is great. And he's also going to the final rounds, which is awesome. And uh, I really think that Patrick deserves um, every single match that he's won. It was kind of questionable on episode one, but then again, both of him and Goofy's performances were kind of eh. So um, it, it really could have gone either way. But uh, yeah, Patrick gets great after every single performance. His first performance was okay. Then his second performance was really good. And then his third performance was absolutely amazing. So <clears throat> yeah, having nice visuals, also having staying in character. That's the one thing that I judge like these characters on, like the game based in this tier, like they, their ability to stay in character with their counterpart with, from which universe they came from. And I'm glad that um, <clears throat> I'm glad that Patrick stays in character throughout all of the episodes that he's been in, and he he's like one of the only characters that actually stays in character and has great roast and good and jo and jokes. And even though they're all poop related, I still feel like it fits him well, and I'm really glad that he's in the series. <clears throat> Goofy probably have to be C tier again. Um, I liked Mickey Mouse growing up as a kid, but um, SpongeBob was um, SpongeBob was the way. But uh, besides that, um, Goofy, he was uh, he his was questionable. I don't think he's bad enough to be F tier, but he's he's passable. I guess I just don't like how he's so repetitive in his performance and how like he just calls Patrick constipated the whole entire time but then again Patrick calls Goofy ugly the whole entire time but at least he says he wants to throw up and he actually does throw up at the end but um, with Goofy's I really don't think it was um, I don't really think it was <clears throat> bad enough to be F tier but it's it's C tier plus his, his pregnancy jokes against Patrick where it's kind of out of his character especially since he's supposed to be a kid's cartoon and this feels like more of like a teen ish audience that he was trying uh, Verbal Ace was trying to go for at first but uh yeah Deadpool it really just depends on his third performance because uh his third performance isn't out yet but based on the only two that I've seen I feel like he should be at A tier um I really like his remixes of uh, both of the songs that he did that he has he has great performances one of the, you know what I'm I'm gonna have to put him in S tier, all only because only because he he brings everything to the table once, like once he finds someone like once he finds someone like he goes up against his opponents he finds every single outcome or every single line to make sure that this man ends their career because with SpongeBob he absolutely roasted him and like he like basically made fun of everything that he did and how he lived and how you know how <laughs> sponges eat from the same hole that they poop out of it just it it's funny 
and it's great. And I and um, and against Deadshot, he was making fun of the uh, his dead mom, uh, his dead mom, and um, yeah, it, it's it's really great. And plus, I uh, I didn't really I haven't seen any of the Deadpool movies, but I'm I'm sure they're great. And uh, Ryan Reynolds is an amazing actor. I know that for sure. But uh, yeah, staying in the character, he's uh, he like I said, he's one of the only characters to actually like stay in the character as well. Like with S tier, I feel like they're the only characters that can stay in character while also making great roles and great jokes and having amazing performances. So yeah, um, Deadshot probably gonna be another A tier because uh, <clears throat> uh, he has really good roast for his only performance and uh in the in, like the only performance that he's had in the series and uh he stays true to himself and you know knowing that he can't miss and he's he's gonna shoot deadpool in various locations it's great it's phenomenal and also the the visuals and the the, the beatboxing at the end of his first performance is just absolutely fantastic and yeah uh like i said i really felt like he could, he should have won but uh you know what i'm glad that deadpool is in the in the round threes and I'm glad that Deadpool came this far. Black Panther is a uh, S tier. Like I said, I feel like the only S tiers that I have right now is only the people who are advancing to the semifinals, like because these are the final four. But I feel like they deserve to be in here. Like they respectively won all of the round twos like perfectly. I feel like Deadpool did beat SpongeBob, even though I did like SpongeBob's more. I really thought that Patrick beat Thanos. I really thought that Pennywise beat Group, and I barely thought that Black Panther beat Sonic and I felt like all of them deserved here and I felt like with Black Panther he's just more of that um that old school jam uh, like <clears throat> that old school kind of jams with his performance and he's like an old school jams kind of guy because he remixed the um, Smooth Criminal and California Love and uh, now that I think about it he's done every single song from like every single decade because Smooth Criminal came out in the 80s and then his mix with it with California Love came out in the 90s and then everybody, I think that was in the 90s as well. But I, I don't think it, I think it was in the 90s now that I think about it. I thought it was like the early 2000s. But still, he's just one of those <clears throat> characters that could stay great, good to himself, like, you know, in his presence and also roast the crap. He's like, besides Deadpool, he's like one of the, he's like the second ro best roaster in the series. And um, I feel like he does stay true to himself. Um once again, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. This is not by like, oh, this is by means he has to be an S tier because Chadwick Boseman is dead. No, that is not true at all. I I really like his character in the series, and I'm glad that he's in the series. And uh, yeah, I was about to say SpongeBob again. Batman, probably a probably a tier. Yeah, <clears throat> for the only one performance that he has, it's really great, and um. I don't know why people hate on Robin so much, but I really, I really like them. I really like Robin. Like, I don't really like, oh my gosh, like he deserved to, he deserved to win because of Robin. No, it's just, I feel like it was a nice, simple beatbox. And like, he's one of the only people in the series to actually have a rock song as, as his beatbox performance. I feel like with everybody else, it's just like old hip hop rap and pop, I, I guess. But uh, his was actually like a full rock songs. And I'm glad that the, they uh, verbally interpreted that in this performance and also have neat visuals and actually really good roles for the only performance that he has but still yeah it's a it's a great concept that batman has um thanos i'm gonna have to put him in s i'm gonna have to put him in s because um i feel like with his performance or like his appearance in the series really I, I feel like with this first performance, it actually really did go in his character, even though his second performance was not as good as his first, and I really thought he was out of character, he does serve as a big bad presence to the show, and I feel like people w would want, would like, automatically think that he's going to win the whole series, and he's really cocky, and he really thinks that he's better than anybody else, and to an extent, he, he is, but like, uh, it's just that's just add as a character not just like actual beatboxing remember this is based on character on this on this tier list and how well that their character is implemented into their performances 
So with Thanos, I feel like his first one was absolutely phenomenal. And his second one, even though it was not as in character as his first one, I still think that it's sort of I, I still think that it's sort of good enough for him to like look as this big bad guy who can do and who will do anything in order just to win the, the uh, win the series and take the trophy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <clears throat> Dark side I think he's B. I think yeah, I think he's B. It just depends on a actually you know. I have to think about this. Yeah, I guess he's B. Um it was kind of hard for me to hear him like the first couple of times because of like how deep the, the voice filter is, but uh, he still has really unique beatboxing and it's one of the hardest beatboxes to that I've ever done and also Verbal Lace has ever done. And he said that he's like, Darkseid is one of the hardest. So, um, and plus his presence in the series was also sort of like a big bad appeal, but not enough to like actually scare the audience, I guess. With Thanos, I felt like, he didn't really scare the audience, but he really like in intimidated the audience to be like, "Ooh, this guy's kind of mysterious and kind of uh, like you know bad." So he has like you know has a good performance as well. So I gotta vote for him. But with Dark Side, I felt like he just lost by a landslide, and um, I felt like it wasn't fair. I felt like the the voting could have been a little bit more even. I, even though I thought Thanos won episode seven, I felt like it could have been more even because you know he didn't have he did have really good roast. And uh, I I felt like his uh, his remixes his remix to Gangster's Paradise but it was starting to grow on me so I think that it was good but uh, it was not good enough to be in a tier in my opinion so yeah Mario probably have to be a tier as well he has really good roast for the only performance that he has but um, his uh, the jokes that he makes as well is kind of questionable. Because I think if he didn't make like the whole jokes about him being too fast and like being too uh, too ugly, I guess I felt like because Mario is like a kid's icon, like for for video games and stuff. So for him to make you know innuendos about being too fast, uh, I felt like it was kind of out of his character a little bit. But also like the beatbox solo that he has synced up with uh, his own theme song. For, with the guitar solo it, it's great but um yeah he's 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 good but he's not good enough to be s tier and um sonic is definitely s tier um i feel like with sonic um he was a little bit out of character in episode 12 but uh he has like two of the best performances in the series and if he and he deserves to be in everybody's list really high because he both they he has two visually great performances and also with the beatboxing it, it's just great and his cockiness and his roast and the jokes that he makes is just great and yes yeah, even though you know i would have loved to see him in the round threes i'm still very glad that black panther is in the round threes as well but um you know what it's just it's just sonic man you can't go wrong with sonic and yeah this is uh my tier list um leave a comment down below who you would have ranked these guys at i usually don't leave links to this but um i guess yeah i'm still not gonna leave a link just find it out by yourself just go to tier maker it's not hard but uh yeah this is just uh, my little tier list that i got uh i was like i said i was gonna wait until the end of the series to judge people are judged um every single character by their beatboxing but also by the character as well how much i like the character so yeah anyway yep that was um that was me i guess and i don't know how to conclude this video i guess just right about